Hi, welcome to Logical Solutions Online Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will see one of the effective ways to perform design automation in SOLIDWORKS. Before we proceed into design automation part, let's recap the definition of SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS is a mechanical design automation software wherein users can create a fully associative 3D solid models. As in definition, in SOLIDWORKS we can perform design automation, as simple as it sounds. So this brings us to the question, what is design automation, why design automation and how we can perform design automation in SOLIDWORKS. So what is design automation? Design automation in simple is automatic and rapid creation of parts and its variants based on the input of certain geometric parameters. These parameters help us in capturing the design intent of the model. By employing design automation, the time taken to generate new variants of existing model can be reduced, thereby providing more time for innovation. Employing design automation dramatically shortens the time to delivery once the order is signed, because of which the profit margins of the company will increase. One of the effective ways of design automation is through a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. In this, the input is value parameters that are used to capture the required design intent for the model. This embedded Excel spreadsheet is known as design table. Not only we can control the dimensions, but also we can create configurations of the model using design table. To demonstrate design table, I have taken the example of this simple model. Now adding the design table by navigating to insert in menu bar, tables and design table. In source, we are presented with three options. Blank creates a blank Excel sheet. Auto create creates Excel sheet with user choice of model dimensions from file adds an existing sheet as a design table. Using auto create option, adding parameters into the table automatically. In this way, all the dimensions we have added are exported into the Excel sheet. Now let's add another dimension to the table manually. With the table open, double clicking the dimensions will add the dimension to the design table. Let's modify the existing dimensions. As you see, the model dimensions gets updated with the dimensions of the table. Now we will create a new configuration for this model. Naming this configuration as first instance. And adding all the dimensions. As you see, SOLIDWORKS creates a new configuration with the name given and all the dimensions are updated accordingly. So this is the easiest way of performing design automation using Excel and SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries, drop a comment below or feel free to contact us. For more SOLIDWORKS content, please subscribe to our channel Logical Solutions Limited.